Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And this story comes from the Guardian UK, which is a hardcore left-wing rag. And they're claiming that Bannon is calling Trump treasonous and all this. That is bullshit. Now, I just got done listening to Michael Savage program on YouTube. Michael Savage interviews Steve Bannon. Bannon has nothing but praise for President Trump. So, how can this be? Well, I can tell you how this be, how this will be. We'll read a little bit of this, and then we'll go over it. Donald Trump's former chief strategist, Steve Bannon, has described the Trump Tower meeting between the President's son and a group of Russians during 2016 election campaign as treasonous and unpatriotic, according to an explosive new book seen by the Guardian. So, this is a meeting between Trump's son, Trump Jr., and uh, the Russians. Well, of course, they're trying to put this on the president. Bannon, speaking to author Michael Wolf, who we will get to in a short, warned that the investigation into an alleged collusion with Kremlin will focus on money laundering and predicted they're going to crack Don Jr. like an egg on national TV. Fire and fury inside the Trump White House, reportedly based on more than 200 interviews with the president, his inner circle, and players in and around the administration, is one of the most eagerly awaited political books of the year. In it, Wolf. This lid on White House lurching from crisis to crisis mid internecine warfare, with even some of Trump's closest allies expressing contempt for him. Excuse me, one minute, man, problems. He is swing of bug juice, orange, orange stuff that looks like orange juice, but it isn't. Fake stuff in other words. Anyway, Ben was chief executive of the Trump campaign in its final three months, then White House chief strategist for seven months before returning to right wing Breitbart News as a central figure in the nasty cutthroat drama quoted extensively, often in salty language. He is particularly scathing about a 20, June 2016 meeting invo involving. Trump's son, Donald Jr., son-in-law, Jared Kushner, then campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, and the Russian lawyer, Natalia, not gonna happen at Trump Tower in New York. Well, what you gonna do about it? His, uh, his son's a private citizen. You meet with whoever he wants to. A trusted intermediary that promised documents that would incriminate rival uh, Hillary Clinton, Hologram Hillary, in other words, but instead of alerting the FBI to a potential assault on American democracy by foreign power, Trump Jr. replied in an email, I love it. This is all utter BS. I'm not going to go on and on with this, because I don't like stepping in I don't like stepping in the barn when it hasn't been cleaned for a while, let's put it that way. So we're going to take a look at who George, Mr. Michael Wolf is. Michael Wolf is born August 27, 1953, is an American author, essayist, and journalist. That's strike one, strike two, was a regular columnist and contributor to USA Today. That's strike three. He's a commie liberal. As far as I'm concerned, he's a line sacky, you know what. The Hollywood Reporter and the UK edition of GQ Contents. One early life, two career. Need I go on? 
this is a hardcore Tommy liberal. And take a look at this picture. God, it's downright scary. So, if you see this story, I think we can basically dismiss it as other nonsense. Now, this guy works for the USA Today, which is hardcore left wing radical wacko. Newspaper, I hardly ever cite it for that reason. I might trust them for uh, the weather or something like that. I think we can basically dismiss this as nonsense. I listened to Steve Bannon, like I said, and he had nothing but praise for the Donald. So, this is just more left wing hate. I wanted to bring it to your attention, though. It's just more hate uh, put towards Donald Trump. If Trump wasn't president, he'd probably sue this guy for defamation. So, Trump Jr. talked to the Russians. Well, he was a private citizen <laughs> back then. Uh, so was uh, Trump. Sorry, too bad. I'm Artifacts of Mars.